Hey guys, welcome back to Opal's Workshop and Diecast Restorations. Today we're going to do our first matchbox ever. It's a matchbox number 55 or 73, it says on the bottom. It's a Mercury wagon. My family had one just like it. So I'm going to do a recreation of it. Might even paint the doggies since I got two dogs. Stick around. Well, let's start out with the rivets. Now we'll use these bigger, or this bigger drill bit to knock out the head of the rivet. Now we'll just pop that bad boy apart. Oh, that came off really easy. Well, there's the base. There's the seats and the puppy dogs. Might have to do a little drill on the window. And there's the window. It's really filthy. And it, it does have some cracks in it. But, I think it'll be fine. And let's get this in the stripper. Off. I just took off this little piece here a minute ago. It's a little steering mechanism. We'll have to straighten that out. And there's all the parts except for the body, which is in the stripper, as I said. So let's get the rest of this cleaned up. And we'll get all of our little plastic pieces in. Get them a nice bath. And we'll see what we can achieve. I just mixed up some lime away with 50% water, 50% lime away. We'll see if we can get this base back in shape. See what a few minutes does us. Ooh, you can actually see it bubbling. I'll be back. Look how nice these parts turned out. Even the windshield turned out. Just a little buffing and cleaning and that sucker will shine. I also went ahead and 
heated this small piece up so we had a little bit of a bend in it when we put it back together for axle support that lime away trick really works good cleaned all of that crap out of there on the back. That's something on the side but what our families look like. Alright. Oh okay, a little drop of Arl. Perfect. All right, we got the window all polished up. Now we're time for some mop and glow. Then we'll wick it. Set her down and let her dry and cover it up. Now let's get some primer on this bad boy. Okay guys, time to get some color on this murk. Since I'm recreating this vehicle to commemorate my mother's first vehicle that she learned how to drive on. I'm gonna have to go to a different wheel because that old wagon had those big chrome hubcaps on it. So, I got wheels that reminded me the closest to that. Okay, now that you got your 
axles in. Time to put your little plastic suspension piece back in. And it will while you're doing so. This will be one button. Let's get the rest of this put back together so we can get some detail on and I can give you a shot of the final. Here goes our interior. Color match screws. some detail on this bad boy and I'll get right back to you hey guys why I'm thinking about it if you like this video hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up well there she is all finished my first matchbox turned out good looks almost identical except for the crack in the windshield maybe one day I'll see about getting a new one popping it apart and putting a new windshield in but for now there she is in all her glory. Looks just like our first station wagon growing up as kids. Same color, the whole nine yards. For now, this is Opa saying goodbye.